Well, we lived 10 years in Barcelona and we had a really good time. I had a couple of bars with my business partner, Matt, but for a while, we've been thinking time to do something different. So we had the bars on the market to sell. It looked like it was going well. We're going to move to Uruguay, build a house near the beach, between the beach and the countryside in Uruguay. We were tired of the city. It seems like it's a good community there. So the kids could run a bit wild. We're going to do something with tourism and some growing some food and stuff. But then COVID happened. So we got locked down in Barcelona for four months. And Barcelona, at least where we were, relies on tourism. And our bars were geared to tourism. So that all ended and the value of the bars went way down. So we didn't have as much money as we thought we were going to have. So we decided to move back to the family farm where Veronica is from in La Pampa in Argentina. Her uncle Alistair was kind enough to lend us his house. This is our new house. So we're going to stick here for a while and see what happens. Kids can go a bit crazy, lots of places to play. You're not going to grow up just playing on PlayStation or whatever they do in Barcelona. I'm going to try and support us as much as we can with growing some vegetables and planting some fruit and having some chickens and we're going to see how that goes. Time to be a bit more self-sufficient, a bit more resilient, to spend less, have a more relaxed life. So, over that way, through all that vegetation, sparrows, a couple of aunts and uncles, and about six kilometers that way, sparrows' parents, so it's good to have some family around. And there's a cousin who lives over there as well, a mile or so. And seven kilometers that way, more or less, it's the closest village. And then a hundred kilometers that way, Santa Rosa, it's the closest big city. <coughs> big, I mean, 100,000 people or so, and the state capital. And close, about the same distance that way, that way more or less. General Pico, about half the size of Santa Rosa. We have some friends around here. This is where Vera grew up, around here relatively, yeah? In Pico and in Santa Rosa. So we're gonna see what happens. My kids are over there playing somewhere. Very peaceful. So I've been reading a lot about permaculture and gardening and resiliency and all these things. And something I've been thinking about for a really long time. So now we have the opportunity to do something with it. And we have the uh, space to do it. We can use all of this to do with as we will. And then if I need more space, I can always use some verges and edges and some land over here or something. We're going to see how it goes. I'm going to try and keep posting those for people that are interested.